Holy shit. G'day ladies and gents and welcome to a Two Fresh Productions. In this episode I'm going back to February where I went on a trip with Sam, Wet Man on Clothier and the man himself, Mr James Southern Beckman. The trip started off with a few mishaps, getting to the ramp without fuel, fueling up, going back to the ramp, then realising we still had to pump off our floats. A 5am start quickly turned into a 7am start. Good job boys. James chucked Sam and I in on some ground that was supposed to be loaded with craze, but despite our efforts, combing the spot and hitting every ledge possible, we found no sign of our crustacean friends. The second spot was a little less forgiving. There was a lot of wind and a lot of chop. The swell was rolling in and the viz was only two foot. Sam found it very hard not to swallow the chop. Here's a little clip. As you can see, the biz was absolutely putrid. Sam managed to find a cray. <laughs> I don't know how, but in the viz he managed to find what I thought was a 2 kilo cray. We both spent about 30 dives each on this one crayfish. And after a little while, Sam gave up and said, Hey, Az, go down and get it yourself. So I dove down, but to my surprise, the cray was gone. Well, I was looking in the wrong hole, it's not there. Oh, really? Yeah. We spent another five minutes in the area trying to look for another cray or try and find the same cray. And I was absolutely buggered, so was Sam. And all of a sudden, Sam just comes up out of nowhere with not a two kilo cray, but a four kilo cray. Absolute stonker. This is good. So, after sending up to a horse of the crayfish, we all knew it was time to move on to the tune. Sam wasted absolutely no time getting into the water. Due to a bit too much excitement, this is what happened. After having his band snap, Sam swam straight back to the boat, grabbed James's gun and got back into it. As a result, Sam landed straight on the school. And put this lovely shot straight through the top of the fish. Shot. I'm shot. You'll never get free. Ma'am to the slaughter. What you gonna do when there's blood in the water? The price of your greed is your son and your daughter. I dove down, checked that the shot was good, gave Sam the all clear, and he hauled it up. Good job. 
Oh. It's um, right through the top tire and down sort of halfway through the midsection, just behind the head. And the river has run dry. You thought you could go free, but the system is done for. If you listen real closely, there's a knock at your front door. You'll never get free. Lamb to the slaughter. What you gonna do? There's blood in the water. The price of your greed is your son and your daughter. What you gonna do? Fish circles around a few times, tangling Sam up. And in true boyfriend style, takes a second run. Another dollar in your pocket. Now I am the I am the This fish really exhausted Sam. And the fire ended up going for 25 minutes. Sam fought the fish to the surface once more, and this is what happened. What you gonna do when there's blood in the water? The price of your greed, your son and your daughter. What you gonna do when there's blood in the water? I am the people, I am the storm, I am the riot, I am the swarm when the last trees fall in the end of volcano. Oh, I didn't even need to hold yeah. that out. <laughs> 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 Look at it, man. It's a good looker. Can we talk us through it? Oh, I just dove down, saw a school of them, and they were just like going past like ones and twos. And then, sure enough, picked out the bigger of the, the lot, or what I thought was the bigger. And yeah, waited until I had my shot lined up, and then just fucking rifled a shot straight through it. <laughs> How <laughs> good! Look at that! Good work, man. brother. Yeah. <laughs> knackered. <laughs> Absolutely fucking knackered. The day was off to a great start, but I wasn't going to let Sam have all the fun. After beating my record twice in the weeks prior, I was ready to do it again. Before jumping in, I saw the school from the surface. I jumped in the water and started kicking straight at them. Upon arrival, I saw the tails going under me, one after another. 
So I took a deep breath, gathered my thoughts and dropped down into them. At first I didn't know if the fish was actually on. But on second inspection, it was definitely on. And while I was fighting my tuna, Sam was having his own bit of fun on the surface. Just ease up a bit and put the heat to blood. It's kind of so cool. Oh, hello, boat. <laughs> A couple minutes into the fight and I started to make some ground on this fish. I get the fish to the surface and come so close to landing it, but due to only having one glove, I couldn't get the grip on the shaft. Lucky Sam was there to lend me a glove. I only got one glove. Yeah, yeah. yeah man, that'd be great. <laughs> While I was fighting this fish and trying not to be pulled under, Sam had other ideas for entertainment. Oh. 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 Yeah, this is where make the camera in front of it. After the fish took its second run and I received the glove, I started to make some ground on it again. After a bit of persuading, I finally let Sam do his naked cameo. Sam's bare ass gives the fish a fright, and this is when all hell breaks loose.
sail is stoked was an absolute understatement. This fish was my third record in just two weeks. I obviously didn't brain this fish properly and still had a bit of fight. Jesus. After I landed this fish, we called it a day. We were all absolutely buggered and we all had a great day in the water. How fucking stoked are you, bro? So stoked. Two records in one week. <laughs> so good. After a big day in the water, we got back to the accommodation, cracked open a few cans, washed down the gear, and got straight into fielding. Hey guys, so we're just breaking down this tuna here. Uh, James has been, um, I've been fortunate, fortunate enough to have James here to uh, fill this fish for me. So these are sort of the slabs that you get out of this fish. And with tuna, because they have this really, really thick pin bone down, running down the spine, you actually have to cut the um, fillets into fours. So right now that's what we've done. So we cut them off the frame and we're going to cut down here make them into quarters. On our way back to the ramp, we just had to stop in and get some scallops. Here's Sam cleaning them. Right, okay, so these scallops are already a bit cheated because they've been in the fridge, but yeah, you literally just run a butter knife, don't need to use a sharp knife, crack it open, and then I just use my thumb, pop it underneath, and then the whole thing comes out, like so. Put one thumb in the side, and then just roll the scallop muscle out. It's pretty good. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop a comment and tell me what you think. This is my first time using Adobe Premiere Pro. That's on me. Cutting fish. <laughs> this is wonderful southern bluefin tuna till next time why fish above when you can fish below don't forget to follow our social medias on facebook and instagram at two fresh productions thanks for watching